Hi, I'm North Survival and today I'm gonna show you how to carve in wood. To my help, I got an axe, a spoon knife, a knife and a piece of wood. The first thing we're going to start with is to choose a piece of wood and you want to choose a piece that has straight fibers in it. As you see in this piece of wood the fibers are not straight, they are curved, so this is not a good piece to carve in. And as you see in this piece of wood the fibers run perfectly straight, so this is a very good piece to carve in. And when you have a piece of wood where the fibers run straight, it's a lot easier to carve in. So I'm going to carve a spoon. And the first thing you want to start with is to cut out a flat piece out of this wood and it should be as thick as the spoon should be. So I'm going to start with my axe and remove the larger piece of wood. Then I'm going to move in with my knife and uh, remove the smaller piece of wood. thing that really helps when you're carving is to have sharp tools. So therefore I brought my Mura spoon knife and my Mura frost knife. Another tip is to put the knife as close to the wood as you can. That will give you both more precision and power. So now when we have gotten the wood flat and pretty smooth, I'm going to draw the spoon on air and I'm using my flashlight as a template for the bowl. Then we are going to draw the handle and I'm going to fixate my finger on one point of the pen and then hold the finger against the edge and pull. And that should make a perfectly straight line. So now we are going to start to carve and I'm going to begin with the bowl part of the spoon first and to my help I got a spoon knife and uh, what this is, it's basically a curved blade designed to dig out wood. So I'm going to place the spoon knife on almost the edge of the bowl and I'm going to carve from the outside in. And a good tip is to use your thumb on the back side of the blade to guide it and keep it accurate. So now as you see I'm finished with the bowl part of the spoon and uh, now it's time to carve out the handle. And it's important to take it little by little so nothing cracks. Uh, 
Another tip for when you're carving is to have the blade in an angle instead of having it flat because then the knife will cut better. So now we are done with the carving and uh, now it's time to take some sandpaper and make it really smooth. I'm gonna start off with some rough sandpaper, then I'm gonna take some finer sandpaper and then I'm gonna finish off with the finest sandpaper. So now the spoon is finally finished. It was a lot of fun carving and it became pretty good. And some tips for when you are carving. Number one, use sharp tools. Number two, use a knife with a small blade, that will give you more accuracy. Number three, use a wood where the fibers are straight. And number four, take little by little when you cut off the wood, so no big pieces fall off. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you found this video useful or inspiring and I would really appreciate if you could share this video and also like it, that would be very nice and uh, I'll see you next one, take care, bye bye.